In this video I'm going to show a very simple example of using the view stationing command and I'm going to demonstrate how to set up my display for the text as well as the tick marks. And in this example I'm going to go ahead and disable everything except for the major stations and ticks. So I'm going to turn off the minors and the PIs and the station equations. So I'll click apply. So you can see first of all that I do have only my major stations displayed but they are so small that they're a little hard to see. So the first thing I want to do is go back into my regular stations and I'm going to change the text size here. So I'm going to click on the browse button in the right column of major station and you can see here I can set up any of the different text symbology associated uh, with this stationing text. I can change the color, weight, font, etc. I can change the justification, the height, as well as the rotation and offset. So we're going to work with a few of these um, in this video. First thing I want to change is my height. So I'm going to go ahead and just set that to a height of 1. and I'll click OK and apply and we'll take a look at how that ended up. Okay, you can see we got a whole lot bigger there. So let's change our tick marks here uh, to something reasonable that will uh, correspond with this larger text. So for my major ticks I'm going to change my left offset here to negative 0.5 and my right offset to 0.5 We'll apply that and you can see there that it looks a little more reasonable for stationing now. If you want to change the line symbology for the major ticks you can do that here. So we'll just change that to something else. Now let's go in and refine the placement for this text here. Again we'll go into the major stationing text symbology and I do like mine to be in line with the tick marks so I'm going to change the justification to center center and we'll take a look at that change. So now you can see it's lined up with the tick mark. And now I want to offset that either to the left or the right. So I'm going to offset that first uh, to, the, to the right side of the alignment. And I'm going to do that after rotation. And this is going to be a horizontal offset. And I'm going to try 5 to begin with. And this, this process is a little bit of, of trial and error. Of course you can go out and measure and, and know exactly um, how much you want that offset. But we'll just take a look at how 5 works for us. I'll click apply. And that's maybe a little further off than I wanted. You could actually come in like I said and measure. So let's see from this point here maybe start it around here. Our distance is 1.0427. So we want it one foot from the center line, but remember the center is going to be defined, we've de defined that by center center. So I'm going to measure now from here to roughly the end of this text. and you can see that is approximately 3. So let's go in and change this to 3 plus the 1 and we'll change that to 4. OK and apply. Much nicer. So that's that's the way we want that to be. Now let's say we decided we wanted to switch this over to the other side. It's very simple. You'll just go into the major stationing and I will change this horizontal rotation to negative 4 click OK and apply. And now we've moved it over to the other side. 
Of course, there are many more combinations that you can do involving rotation and offsets, but again, a lot of that's going to be um, some basic measuring to decide where you want the text located. And then you'll, you'll combine um, the justification with the rotation and the offsets in order to achieve the display that you want.